Welcome to Productive Joy with Dr. Christie, where fun meets action. Hi, friend. Welcome to Productive Joy. I just had the opportunity to do an interview with one of my favorite people. And I know I say that a lot, but this one is like legit, like probably my my most favorite person that I'm not related to by marriage or blood. <laughs> so Kelsey Stevens is a mom. She's a wife. She is an amazing business person. She is super duper smart. She's an actuary. And she's also just good people. And she has some really great nuggets to share with you today. So I think that the couple things that I took away from her, my conversation with her is that it, it is important for, that you have consistency, right? So if, and if there's anything that I can say about Kelsey, it's that she's consistent. We actually know each other because of Burn Boot Camp, which you all have heard a little bit about. And what's great about Burn is that we have created kind of a family of people there. We're the crazy people that are there at 5.30 a.m. And it doesn't matter if Kelsey's flight gets home at midnight the night before or if she's been just on a, in a dead run, she's going to be there at 5.30 a.m. And so that consistency, but she, that's not the only place she's consistent. She's consistent with her family. She's consistent with her work. And she talks a little bit about how you create that kind of consistency, even when you don't feel like it. She also talks about keeping things in perspective. What's the most important thing here, right? What's going to matter in 10 years? Because you cannot do it all, but you can do it all. Meaning that you can be a great mom and you can be a great wife and you can be a great uh, business person and a great friend all at the same time. However, you have to prioritize which one is happening in the moment. So I think that there's a lot of power in those words, right? You don't have to be bad at one thing and good at other things. You can be good at all of them. You just can't be 100% great all the time. You have to pick and choose. And I think there's there's power in those words for sure. She also talked about glass balls and rubber balls and that when we're juggling all of the things in life, we need to recognize that some of those things are more fragile than others. Some of the things, if we drop them, they'll bounce and others are going to break. So make sure that you are protecting those glass balls that you're juggling and not letting those hit the ground. But I also just need to brag on my friend Kelsey. So Kelsey was the youngest ever person to pass all the actuar actuarial exams in the state of Florida. That's a big deal. She also does have these three wonderful children, 11, 9, and 6. And all of them are super busy and yet super good at what they do because their parents have breathed into them that nurturing nature. Nurturing nature. That was an interesting phrase. <laughs> you know what I mean? They have nurtured them. They've nurtured their nature into great things. She also has a wonderful husband who's crushing it as the as a first year principal this year at Cypress Woods Elementary. And she didn't get into the details of that, but that's been a shift for their family and they've handled it beautifully. And I, the reason that I think that Kelsey is good for productive joy is because we all are trying to juggle a lot of things. And we're all trying to figure out what's most important and what to do at, in the moment. And I think what Kelsey talks to us about is really recognizing that some things are more important than others, but all of them can be on your list and you can get it all in, even in a 24-hour day, because she has not figured out how to have more than 24 hours in a day. <laughs> and she prioritizes sleep. So all of that said to say that it can be done. And I'm just excited. I'm excited that you all are getting to meet some of my brilliant friends and you're getting to learn from them and you're getting to grow with them. And together, this community is going to have a chance to shift our mindset into one of joy because I think joy is a choice. And I actually, I know joy is a choice and you can be happy for a moment, but joy is something that bubbles from within and you have to go for it. You have to find it. You have to figure out where it is and what it is for you because everybody's version of joy doesn't look the same either. So today, my encouragement to you is to recognize that joy is attainable, that it might not look exactly the same to all of us, but that it can be done in lots of different places in your life. And you just have to choose your priorities. And, you know, priorities are a thing, right? You can only really have one at a time, and yet you can have lots of them on your list. And you just have to cycle through them and recognize which ones of those are glass. A couple other things that you need to know before I sign off today, and that's just that, you know what? 
this podcast is for you. So I want you to comment. I want you to ask questions. The Q&A feature is on. I also would love for you to answer the polls when they're there because my hope for you is that this become what you want it to be. Like I mentioned earlier, I have some really brilliant friends and then I, I have lots of people I don't even know yet that are going to become my friends. But I need to know what you need to hear. What is it that Productive Joy needs to be producing so that you are getting out of this what you need? So tell me, please tell me. You can tell me a couple different ways. You can just email learningcanstick at gmail.com. That one's easy. That's the name of my book. And I would love to hear from you that way. You can also look me up on LinkedIn, Dr. Christy McMullen. Christy is spelled C-H-R-I-S-T-I-E. That's important. And McMullen is M-C-M-U-L-L-E-N look me up, find me, message me, say, hey, I would love to talk because I won't know if you don't tell me. So those are a couple of easy ways. I'm also, I do have productive joy on both TikTok and on Instagram. So would love to hear from you there as well. Please look me up, find me and tell me what you need because I can do a lot of things, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what you need. So thank you for being here today. A big shout out to Nian, who is my producer and is making great stuff happen. A big shout out to my husband for his unbelievable support in all of this. Shout out to Bailey Wisensell, who was my student a thousand years ago. We're not going to say a thousand, Bailey. That sounds terrible. You were my student in 2003, and yet we've stayed in touch, and now you are a wonderful assistant for me and making some awesome things happen. And a big shout out to my listeners because you guys are pretty awesome. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Don't forget that that really cool music at the beginning and the end is my dad, Mr. Mickey Finn, who is an unbelievable piano virtuoso and his incredible wife, Kathy, who is playing the banjo in that same riff. Just wanted you to know that that's real music and that he is incredibly talented. So thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you for choosing to listen. And I just hope that you have found a nugget or two that you can figure out how to use to turn fun into action. 